Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm so glad you're here today. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing two sort of similar bags. Anyway, they have a similar appearance to me anyway. So I first bought this Coach Studio bag during the Coach sale. And I went to pick it up at the Coach store and on my way out of the store, I was just browsing and I stopped in at the Tory Burch store and I was like, well, that's, that's similar to what I just bought. I didn't know that Tory Burch had a similar bag to this. It wasn't something I was, you know, ready to act on or, pl or planning to buy or anything. But when I got home and uh, looked at this bag, oh, well, let me tell you a little, bit, a little bit more. I bought the bag online, had the option to pick up in store. So when I went to pick it up in the store, they had it packed up for me back in the back and I didn't like look at it or inspect it in the store or anything. And when I got home, I got it out of the dust bag and started looking at it and I was like, uh oh, I think there, there are a few things that I'm concerned with. So after I looked at this bag, I realized this is going to go back and I'm probably not going to re replace it or, you know, exchange it. I'm probably just going to return this bag and be done with it. And that night after I looked at this bag up close, I got on the rear wheel just to see what was new for them and they had this bag. So I went ahead and bought this bag from the real reel for a significant amount less than what they had at uh, Tory Burch, even including the sale that they were uh, getting ready to start for Black Friday. So this just arrived today and I thought, before I take this back to coach, let me do a little comparison here. So sorry for the wordy introduction, but I just wanted to give you some context. Okay, so why am I not keeping this bag? Well, the first reason, there's just some quality control issues. Do you see that that flap is not straight? It's not. Well, I'll measure it just to show you. But when you look at the sides, do you see the amount of gap that's here? And then look at this side and the amount of gap that's here. I'll show you with my fingers. Like there's a lot of room here and then there's very little room here. So that shows you that something's off with the construction of the bag. Okay, so I'm touching the bottom of the flap and this is about this is six centimeters to the bottom of the bag and over here I'm touching the bottom of the flap and it's five centimeters to the bottom of the bag so no that's not okay <laughs> yeah so I thought I thought at first my eyes were off but then when I took the measurement and then definitely when I looked at the difference here in the gap I was like no that's that's not okay there's a really rough spot here this part of the leather here really really rough inside this front flap here this is really rough as well so I don't know what has happened to this bag, but you can even see that that front flap is like damaged somehow. Yeah, that that's not okay. I love the quilting and I love the sheen. It doesn't feel as soft to me as my other quilted bags. It doesn't feel as soft to me as my other quilted coach Napa bags. Like this feels softer to the touch. And for sure this Madison definitely feels softer but I really liked the look of it so yeah so for me it's it's not staying it's gonna go back but I was really really happy to have just noticed this other bag <laughs> on my way out of the uh, shopping center because I think it's a really a similar look I said it's a black bag with gold hardware which I really enjoy. I mean, it's that's just that's just I think my go my go to in winter the black the black bag. All right, so we'll give uh, each bag a total 360 so that you can see all the details of how it's constructed. It has the same vertical quilting. The quilting is not as puffy on this Tory Burch bag. Really well made and it's really beautiful. The gold is also antique gold like what's on the coach. The strap here on this bag is not removable. The strap here on the coach bag is removable. Here's a look at the strap that comes with the coach studio bag. It's basically just a plain black leather strap, but the detail of the buckle is nice. And when I tried it on, I was wearing it at the longest length. But here you can see the different size adjustments. As you can see on the Tory Birch bag, it is a chain strap with 
this portion of the top of it is leather. I mean, it's a significant portion is leather and it is adjustable. So it is called a shoulder bag on the website when you open up the details for this bag, the description says that it comes with a chain accented crossbody strap. So it's a little bit mis, uh, I don't know, not misleading, but it's a little bit confusing in terms of the way that they have labeled the bag. They call it a shoulder bag, but then in the description, they say it comes with a crossbody strap. I guess that means it is adjustable, so you could wear it shoulder or crossbody. I've got it on the longest setting for me to make it crossbody. So the openings of these bags is is different in that with the studio bag you push in and then pull up and with the Tory Burch you have a turn lock through the T. On the interior details of the studio bag you have a slender front pocket, a very generous roomy middle pocket, and a slip pocket in the back. And another very roomy pocket behind that. Inside the Tory Burch on the front wall, you have two slip pockets on the front wall and they're both leather trimmed. On the back wall, you have a zipper pocket and it is pretty shallow. You can see how far my hand goes down. My hand does not go down very far. So it's a pretty small pocket, but that goes along with the proportion of the bag. Also in terms of comparison, neither of these bags have back pockets. Just to be thorough here and go through the dimensions, the length of the coach bag is nine and a fourth inches. The, the length of this Tory Burch, 8.8 .8 inches. The height of the coach studio is six and a half and the height of this Tory Burch is 6.2. The width of the studio is 3.34. Width of the Tory Burch is 2.2. The coach studio weighs one pound, 9.8 ounces. And this Tory Burch weighs one pound, 4.6 ounces. Current prices. The retail price of this coach bag is $495. It is currently on sale for $370. The retail price of this Tory Birch is $598. It is currently on sale for $399. In comparing the leather, like the leather is more poofy and squishy and more quilted on the coach bag. But I think that on the Tory Birch bag, it's it's more soft. So I would actually prefer the feeling and the texture of the Tory Burch bag. Of course, I can't comment on the durability of the leather on either one of these bags, but in terms of just a textural experience, I do prefer the feeling of the leather on this Tory Burch bag. So obviously you're going to be able to get more into the Coach Studio bag because it's a little bit bigger, but even though this, this looks like a small bag, it definitely can fit your large size phone here. So I'm putting that in just to show you that after the phone is in, there's gonna be room for other things. I'll show you what fits um, inside this bag, just in case you're researching this bag. All right, so as it is coming up on the holiday season, I've switched into my festive SLGs. So I'm gonna put in this card holder and this little skinny mini, mini skinny from Coach, small pack of wet ones. And I'm going to throw in my key fob and a lip product in the back zip pocket. I'll put some reading glasses there on top as well. Okay, so that all fits in the bag. I wonder if I were to keep my phone in a jacket pocket, would I have room to take my mini pochette? Let's try it out. But I think if I were to not have the phone inside and condense to one card holder, then a mini pochette would fit. And so room for reading glasses. You know, those are, those are just cheapy, cheapy reading glasses. So I'm not worried about having the case in there. So that would work as well. So I hope that gives you just an idea of the size and capacity of the bag. I feel like things have worked out for me, for the best for me anyway in terms of this bag going back and it's, I'm okay with that because I think for the look of having this vertical quilting that I actually am going to prefer this bag anyway. I mean, I know it's not quite as big, uh, but in terms of the detailing and the finishing and all of those things, I think this is the best bag for me. So I hope this helps you in terms of uh, if you are researching 
this bag. I didn't see a lot of information on YouTube about this particular Tory Burch bag. It's in the Kira line and maybe that's because of the name because it's confusing because it's named a shoulder bag but it can be worn crossbody. I'm planning on doing 12 days of Vlogmas sort of <laughs> with some limited vlogging content but what I'm most excited about is sharing 12 days of bags with you that I choose to use during the holiday festive season. And so that will be part of my content for those 12 days. And if you're interested in that, then please subscribe so that you can uh, hang out with me during those uh, 12 days of December when I make those posts. I would really look forward to it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.